Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us in today's Tips and Tricks video. Folks, this is a X-Lite's Tips and Tricks alert. Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining in this us in this emergency video that I have I can't I'm so tongue tied, I can't even talk because this is ridiculously incredible. What I'm about to show you is something that I myself never thought was ever going to be possible inside the X Lights program. Um We've been using X Lights in its current version. This is X Lights version four, but everybody knows it as X Lights 2021, 2020, 2019, whatever. We're using version four of X Lights. There used to be a 3.0 version of X Lights. It was called X Lights Nutcracker. But now uh, we're we're in version four, and ever since the introduction of a specific menu called the preset menu, which you can go to very easily by taking your mouse and uh, you do a uh, uh, a right click. I'm sorry. I have a, so if you're watching the videos, I have a, a vertical mouse and it reverses the button, so I have to think. So whatever the screen tells you, that's the button to click because I have the screen clicker button thingy on there. But um, just do the right click or the left click. I think I think it's. I want to say it's a a right click, and you'll go to this menu right here, this effects preset menu. So I've been doing X lights now for since. 2012, I want to say, and uh, the iterations have changed, but uh, one of the functions in version 4 X lights is the ability to add effects presets and so that you don't have to recreate a, a specific effect. Well, up until today, the only way to know how your preset effect rendered, the only way to know was to open up your preset effect scroll down to your like matrix or your mega tree and uh you know click on it here and uh you could add multiple uh layers below that was a, a right click and then i'm adding like let's say 10 layers into your matrix and then come over here and uh look at one of your uh preset effects um Let's see right here. Let's go to this one here. And if we double click, see how this says six on there? You could double click on this or just uh, select it and apply it. And what you would have to do is you'd have to have the little um, model preview showing here. Uh, got it. Let's put it right here. You'd have your model preview there. And all you do is you select the effect and you'd place it into the uh, matrix. So we could click on it and click. Uh, oops, apply. And this was the only way that you could see what this preset effect did. But now, as you can see, we have this nice little icon, which as soon as you click on the, um, as soon as you click on the preset, it actually renders it for you. Now, I imagine there's a little bone, a uh, little penalty that you have to pay just to get it to render. Uh, but uh, from what it looks like, from what it looks like in the most recent download of X Lights, this is version 2021.2. So we're in, we're into like the third week of the month of of, December, of January, 2021, and we're on version two of X Lights for the year, and. Can you believe that we can now see a preview of any of the effects presets that you happen to have just right here showing on that small screen? So whenever you physically select it, you know exactly what you're going to get whenever you lay that effect down. So um, I thought this was truly worthy of a video dedicated to itself to understand this. Now, I had a very short conversation, and I'm going to go real quick check my uh, Facebook because Scott did. I, I as soon as I saw this, I said, "I got to send a message to Scott. How did you do this?" So um, it's between Keith and Scott have worked together on this. I know that Scott was working on a solution using a GIF file, um, but I believe he even said to me, "Let me scroll through my little uh, message here." Um, he said uh, that there's still some work to be done. He needs to be able to make this a little bit bigger. And I kind of hinted maybe a little slider would be nice to make it bigger or smaller. But it would scale. He says it would scale somewhat to uh, the size of the box, whatever is available here. 
uh, for your preset size window. So, uh, but he, that's something coming in the future. But just the fact that we can click on uh, any of our presets and it automatically loads them for you and it shows you a preview, I think that's pretty darn cool. So, guys, that's all I have for you in today's tips and tri trip. The, I, see, I'm so tongue tied. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. This is like ridiculous. If you appreciate what we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, please like the video, give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't done yet, so hit the subscribe button. It's 100% free. We don't charge you a penny for that. I swear to God. Right hand up to God. And uh, also, if you like what we do here on the channel, consider joining the Pixel Pro Displays uh, community on our Facebook group, Pixel Pro University. Uh, just search Facebook for PPU. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. And also consider joining the PPD Sequence Club. You get one awesome sequence each month, and that is how you can help support us the very best. We really appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video, please share it with everybody and let them know the awesome red alert news that there is now a preset effect preview in the effect preset menu. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.